we are unveiling today the new King Charles III definitive. These are, if you like, the everyday stamps that people are using on envelopes when they're sending cards and letters to friends and relatives. It's the first time in 70 years that we've had a new monarch on a stamp. And of course, most of us have grown up only ever seeing the image of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, which was an image created by Arnold Machin in 1967. But what we're unveiling today is the new King Charles stamp. And as you'll see, it's a portrait of the king designed and created by Martin Jennings for the Royal Mint and adapted to go on a stamp very much in the traditional way of the previous definitive, and indeed, if you look back, going back to the stamps of Queen Victoria in 1840 with the Penny Black. Uh, of course, uh, the monarch approved them, and so we hope that he's happy with this design. And I think if I can say that the guidance we were given uh, was not to try to be too clever or to try to veer off into some different direction, but very much to keep that uh, traditional image that we're all very much used to. I think that, you know, there is precedent uh, for the king not wearing a crown. Of course, the queen, uh, in her image, wore a diadem, not a crown. And so, for many people, there will, I know, have been speculation about, will he be facing right, will he be facing left, will he wear a crown? Um, but actually, I think the result is very pleasing. It's very much a picture of him. And I think that what Martin Jennings has, has uh, found is very much the image of the man, as well as obviously being the king. The, 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 the interesting thing about stamp I think, is that they are, if you like, a social history. If you look at stamps through the ages, and this great exhibition here at the Postal Museum shows you that, how monarchs have, it, over time, chosen to portray themselves. You know, some have looked very sort of serious and determined and authoritative, and actually some perhaps a little softer. I think it's really interesting, actually, that Her Late Majesty uh, kept that image all, the, all those years, from 1967. And, of course, we all age over the years, but that image became iconic. It was the most reproduced artwork in the world. Um, I'm not sure how many years we will see this stamp in circulation, but I hope it'll be many years. Um, and I think that people will perhaps be interested to see how the King has chosen uh, on this occasion to be portrayed. Mm -hmm.